good, eh, lads and ladies, and everything in between. I don't have much time to do an intro, but we're about to jump into the premiere of the third episode of Disventure Camp. Last time, Fiori was a little punk and got Will eliminated. Very sad for Amber and everybody watching, but we'll see how she fares this time. Let's rock and roll, baby. Let's not waste any time. Mmm. Let's freaking go, guys. Mm, 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 delicious. I hope you're ready, because I sure am. Three, two, one, go! Previously on this venture camp, the teams faced off on their first immunity challenge. On the teal team, Gabby found the immunity totem while looking for Dan's glasses. On purple, what? Fiora went looking for the same totem, but to no avail. In the end, I don't even Will's know fear of sliding down the mountain wore off Fiora's patience, uh. costing her team the challenge. Will desperately tried to expose Fiora's actions, but nobody believed him, and he became no the reason. first one voted out. No reason. Thirteen remain. Will will be Fiora leaving today. Uh, I'm so sad that my boy had to be the first one to leave. That's so messed up. That was my man, too. Well, that was Amber's man, but whatever. <laughs> Let's rock and roll the first season of this venture camp. Dang, can't sleep. Alright. Oh, she's going to see her friend. Now, go find Ellie. And but if Gret finds here. out, she's going to be mad. So what? <laughs> Who cares what that fat girl thinks? Okay, I try to get back quickly. Move. I love I love how her, how her little imaginary her is the one telling her to defy some stranger's wishes. Girl, it does not matter what she thinks. I don't even understand. I don't even understand her logic here. But what if she gets? Hello, no. Gabby. How, how? You scared me. How did she? What are you doing here? Is it just? I wanted to know if you were out of the game. Well. I'm here. I'm not in the best position, but at least I didn't get votes. Mm -hmm. mm, I want to tell you something. What do you sure. Want to tell her? What's up? I found an immunity totem. Hey! If you feel in danger, give me a signal in this challenge, and I'll secretly pass into you. <laughs> wow, Gabby, would you really do that for She's me? So loyal. Why? Well. You're the only person who was nice to me on that team. It's only been like a I'm week. sorry to hear that, but thanks for worrying about me. <laughs> of course, bestie! I have go back now, see you later! <laughs> you know what? She reminds me of some. <laughs> Look at her foot, okay. She reminds me of somebody that I actually met, who was also a really loyal friend for no reason and had buckets of energy just pouring out of them at a given time. His last name was Taruno Guarda. He was he was pretty dang cool. I don't think he had schizophrenia. But actually I do know another guy who does, but that's a whole different story. But he was just like Gabby, really. Very loyal friend. Underappreciated by me, to be honest. I'm surprised at how quickly Gabby got attached to me. Right. I'm not complaining. She's got a great vibe. So loyal. For no reason. It's a shame we couldn't agree on yesterday's elimination. Aww. I know. So I'm still very confused. Ladies, we did what we had to do. That punk had a few screws loose. Excuse me, he what? He seemed like a nice guy. That can't happen again. The Alliance must stay strong and united. Girl. Yesterday before the elimination, the Alliance was talking and we couldn't come to a decision. For some bloody reason, Lil was defending Will and Ashley 
preferred to throw her vote on Alec. Yeah. I obviously went Will. As much as I hate to admit it, Lil was being a bit annoying. Okay, somebody get rid of him. See, Alec feels threatened, and I don't think that he should, because he's not a prick like that guy. If anything, I'd get rid of him, not freaking Alec. Hey, um, where have you been? Well, he is kind of uh, afraid, uh, I, I just went uh, fishing. I went fishing. Where's the but fish? Jake and Tom went fishing. They took all the fishing gear. Dang. Oh, yeah. <laughs> When I got the lake, I remembered I hadn't brought my fishing gear, so I came back. <sighs> okay, fine. I went to see Ellie. She broke Please, so don't tell anyone. She broke so oh, quickly. Oh, well, it's okay, Gabby. I won't tell. I guess I do owe you a favor for helping me find my glasses. I We're here. In my teeth. Now, time to cook them. We have to eat before the challenge. Mm, well... I wouldn't, but that's because I'm me. Hey, how's it going, Miriam? Can't you see it's still cooking? Uh, uh yeah. Hold on. Hey. Wait. <laughs> Wait, you didn't. You didn't skin them. You didn't. You didn't get the blood out. You just threw them in the pot. <laughs> Jesus, guys, what, what exactly are you gonna eat? I mean, I guess you can do all that stuff after they're cooked, but I mean, unless I guess you unless you guys like eating blood, I wouldn't recommend it. I. In How's whatever. it going, Miriam? Can't you see it's still cooking? It works out the uh, way, really. Yeah, listen, I wanted to ask you if you're okay. Your way is You've been kind of upset since we got here and... Whatever happened to minding your own business? Dang. Go bother someone else, kid. Okay. Um. I don't know what I was thinking coming here. If it weren't for my retirement money, I wouldn't be here. Comic book characters, so I love this. Where, uh, where your notebook? Notepad? No, I haven't seen it. Hey, campers, it's challenge time! Welcome to your challenge! Today, we will test your ability to face your worst fear. We've been doing a bit of research on each of you, and I have to say, we found some interesting stuff. Or should I say, scary? Here's how it will work. You will go through the maze behind me. On your journey, you will encounter several doors, accompanied by a picture of one of your teammates. To continue, that teammate has to go through the door and face the fear inside. If they succeed, you may continue on your way. Are you ready? Don't worry, I'll be here to support you at all times. If you decide to not face a fear, that's totally fine. You'll just have to wait a little bit longer. Yeah. Oh, you just have to wait a little. Okay. I thought, I thought... He said that if if they face the fear, you can continue. So I thought that if that if they don't face the fear, the whole team just loses. But that makes sense. A little time penalty, nothing too bad. It's not a little long. In fact, you will have to wait 30 minutes. In case you decide not to face the challenge, you must mark the X and you will have to wait as a penalty. The first team to reach the other side gets immunity and a reward. So get ready to show your courage and conquer your fears. Whatever. Today's reward is an extra waterproof camping tent. The rains can start at any time, so it'll definitely help the hypothermia. If yeah. there's no questions, I'll give each team a map of the maze where you can find the door. Delicious. See, this wouldn't be able to work with me because I don't show my fears. I don't really have any tangible fears. I guess... If failure is a fear, then I then that's it. I don't know. This challenge starts now. I mean, that might that may or may not be a lie, but you'll never Come on, find out. we're so close to the first gate. I'm a little nervous. Don't worry, Fiore. I'm sure these scares are harmless. They're not. Off we go, lads. He's a child. Ellie, probably you're a up dark. first. All right. Fear of sharks. You must swim in a pond with a shark for five minutes. Okay. Oh no. Yeah, let's do that. Come on. It's only five minutes. Okay. Alec, you get in there then. Screw off. 
He, she has a right to- never mind, that was the gonna break of cemeteries. <laughs> you must go alone and spend ten minutes in the Tapisco Cemetery. Okay. What? Easy. Tapisco Cemetery? I thought this was the wilderness. Maybe it's a pet graveyard. Sorry, guys. I can't do it. Boy. Excuse me, what? You thought about it for two seconds, and then you pressed the button. Bro, you didn't even try. You could have at least walked in there and, and then said, nope, you know what? Screw this. I'm sorry, I can't do it. No, you didn't even walk in there. You just noped out. Oh, nah, he's going to get voted out for being a wuss, guys. That, what? That is bullshit. It's okay. No, it's not. That is bullshit. How much time is left? See, 30 seconds. See, if she gave up right now, I would not blame her for that. Because if she's truly afraid, if she if, if if her fear is just too powerful, then okay, you can leave. I'm okay with that. But if you don't go in at all, that just makes you a wuss. Nah, you can't do that. Don't Dang. look at him. Just close your eyes. Don't worry, mate. Sharks are harmless. Some of them. Done. Great. Let's continue. And I love how the shark heard the bell and just said, All right, I'm out. Are you okay? Not really. I feel bad for letting the team down. You should! Don't worry. We'll catch up in the other challenges. I wish I could do it, but it's just... It's too close to home. You didn't try. May I ask why? Wait. I lost my grandfather when I was a kid, and I always went with my mom to visit him and leave flowers. That place caused me a lot of anxiety. Now my grandmother's sick, and I know it's only a matter of time before... You know... I'm sorry, Jay. That must be hard. It's fine. I'd rather not think about it. Time's up, come on! 30 minutes went by that fast? Imagine standing in one place for 30 minutes just doing nothing. They didn't even move, they were just standing there at the entrance. <laughs> These NPCs. <laughs> they were the only ones who talked about anything. Whoa. 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 Fear of the other going game. bold. There is someone inside. Waiting to cut all, all of your, your hair. Off. hair. What? Just oh, off. Right absolutely off. not. We'll take the penalty. Why? Fury. Your girl's back. Press the button. I don't care. Press the button. Ah, bro, I hate these people. <laughs> I hate him. No, never mind. You know what? Screw what I said. At least this guy tried to be supportive of of Ellie when she was in the shark pool. Alec. Is just a Alec is just a prick. Get rid of him. I hate him. Gabby's the only Fear one with a toad. Of being alone. <laughs> you must spend That's fifteen stupid. minutes in an isolation room. Aww. She's a schizo, bro. She what? has a friend. That sounds easy. Well, it's not. Come on, Gabby, not you're her. gonna be fine. I thought I'd never have to see the inside of one of these again. What? Fine! Again. I'll do it! Again? Wait. Was she in a psych ward? Oi, Lil. I still don't get it. Why were you defending Will so much? I had a feeling I could trust him. All my life, I worked with girls Fiore's age. And I feel that something's not right with her. What do you mean? Just look at her! She looks like a little baby piglet! Excuse me, what? What do you mean? Just look at her. She looks like a little baby piglet. A little baby piglet? Is that supposed to be a compliment? If somebody called me a baby piglet, I wouldn't be smiling. I'd, I'd, be, I'd be kind of offended. <laughs> like, no, she does not look like a pig. She looks like, like a, a little drawn human, bro. Eddie, what the frick? Have you seen how fast she writes on her notebook? I could barely read at her age. A little baby piglet. Let's go to the next one. The Follow disrespect. me. The absolute disrespect. How dare they do this to you again? You should make them pay. <sighs> it's just that there. Yeah. I'll be out in few minutes. What makes you believe that? You leave right now and take your revenge. Can no. They, they can hear her. 
Wait, so it's not it's not somebody in her imagination yelling at her. It's her just yelling both sides of the conversation out loud. Oh, that makes it worse. They heard what she said. <laughs> well done. Now let's go to the next one. They know they know this girl's a little bit messed Fear up in the head. Of confronting your past. What? You must speak up. Cheesecake! You must What's so it. painful about cheesecake? You got this, Miriam. I'd rather not. What? Don't you dare. Why? Don't it's you dare. personal, okay? Don't. No. I don't owe you all a reason. Okay, uh, that that's actually a valid. That is a valid thing to say, but, you're, but it still makes you a wuss. I'm not gonna lie. Come on, Miriam, you have so much past. Your past is way more than your future right now. I'm not going to lie to you. Unless you live to be 130, which I don't think is going to happen. So you should at least eat the dang cheesecake. Maybe she really just hates cheesecake. Because even now, she's, lo she's looking regretful as if she didn't want to press it. What the hell was that? Right. That's what I Wear a thermal suit and enter a small cabin that we have behind the door, which will burn in flames in 15 minutes. Okay, yeah, this girl, they're gonna lose. Because, yes, fire is very destructive. It is extremely powerful, but... If it's gonna take 15 minutes, it's gonna take 15 minutes for this thing to burn down, which means they didn't put any lighter fluid or anything on it. It's probably a hard type of wood. It's there. The other team's gonna be way done by the time they're they're finished. Dang, Nabbit. Come on, yeah, this, Ashley. This you a have a protective suit. It won't hurt you. I know, but it's just it scares me. It does. I understand, but she's gonna do it, and it's gonna take a long time. That's the only reason they're gonna lose. Go ahead, so Tom. Long. With this, we win. We couldn't find much information on you. Yep. So, we have a challenge that we know might cause you some anxiety. You must take off your mask. Oh, hell I, I, I can't do nah. that. Why? Why would you do that? Why the heck would you? That's so disrespectful, bro. If the man wants to hide his face, let him hide his face. I don't like to show my face in public that often either. At least when I'm being around people. At least un unless I'm around for just a little bit. If it's like a five minute thing, then I will be fine. But I don't like to show my face in public that often. That's that's just me. That's why half of my face is darker than the other half. Because this uh, this part is not covered. Please make it quick and we can get through the last door. You can do that's, it, Tom. That's true. Sorry, I'm not doing that. Dang! I mean, it's gonna take a while for the others to finish. Anyway, so whatever. Oh, it's Just 15 on fire. minutes, Ashley. You're going to be fine. What is that shed made of? It's not even. I haven't always been afraid of fires. Two years ago. A heat wave caused one near my family's farm. We lost part of the house, the animals, and the crops. Oh. We haven't been able to fully recover after that. But Mama didn't raise the quitter. Fair enough, fair enough. I see it, I see it. I understand. 
I once set my grandmother's trash can on fire. So that's it. <laughs> that's all the experience I've got. It's not fair! I had to be in isolation, and he can take off that silly mask? You don't it's want to suspicious, show his face. don't you think? Yes, it is suspicious. Right. What? Right. You saw him walking at night? What would he be doing? Just, I don't freaking know. Time is over, Ashley. Bloody amazing. You did it. I thought it was going to take too long, but I also thought that Alec was going to take off his mask. So, since he didn't, that, that cost him the win. Are they going to vote him off for this? I ho I freaking hope not. There are so many people who deserve it more. Wins Wait, immunity hold on. And Especially that stinker who, that, who messed up the first freaking challenge. I don't even remember what it was, but he didn't do the first one. The reward. Nah, send him home. Not the yeah! not the yeah. And then just it's We say, lost because of you! No! We Sorry. did not. It was Dear this team, we'll see you at the elimination, okay. where we'll have to vote the second person out of this Ranger camp. Hey. It doesn't matter if Tom ruined the challenge, he's our strongest member, we can't vote him out. Right. Numbers are key in this game, and I'd rather be with him than against him. It's clearly this guy's fault. I don't know what his problem is, but he but he threw that first challenge without even walking into the door and showed no remorse about it. At least Miriam was a little bit sad. And so was and so was this guy. Tom, Jake, Drew, could I uh could I speak with you for a moment? Sure. Come on. We're not getting I'll rid follow. of Miriam. We are not doing it. Don't you dare. Dan, what's going on? I wanted to propose something. Sure, tell no. us. Taking advantage of the fact that there are four boys on our team, meaning us, we should vote for one of the girls. No. Makes sense. Who would we vote for? Miriam or Gret? I hate you. I'd no. rather vote for Gret. Yes. Uh, how about Gabby? Sometimes her attitude is somewhat erratic. Would no. you vote for her, Drew? Oh, screw you. See, if anything, like, Miriam... I, I I don't know. For some reason, I just feel like I just feel like her remorse makes up for the fact that she did that she declined. Plus, she's sixty five years old. Like, I mean, her past is more than her future. But at the same time, she, she could have a dang heart attack and die in there. Like, I'm not trying to see that. So the girls actually pulled their weight this time around. If anything, I'd say it's the half of the boys who failed completely who should be on the chopping block. It's clear the boys will try to get us out. Do you think so? We yeah. have to do something! We should vote together. Maybe I could convince one of the guys to vote with us. I'll vote for whoever you damn please if you let me sleep. <laughs> okay. okay. I got you. I think I know what Tom is hiding. We've all realized that he's somewhat paranoid, and I'm going to use that to my advantage. Look, I, ju I just, I, I need more time. Fine, I'll keep you posted. I was looking yeah. for you. Uh, uh, hey, <laughs> Gret. That is so dumb. What's wrong? I wanted to talk to you before the elimination. <laughs> I found it. something you must see. <sighs> uh, what is it? Someone here has been watching you. What are you talking about? The mute. Drew. He has been writing down everything you do, from oh. your mysterious ways to your strange escapades at dawn. No. Your voice down. The boy doesn't trust you very much. You can read it yourself. Whatever you're hiding, I'm sure he already knows, or is close to finding out. The guys wanted to vote for you a while ago, but I managed to divert the attention to someone else. Gabby. How about you return the favor? I hate this so much. They're gonna vote out Drew, but he's so cool. Just cause, just cause he's watching somebody who is actually suspicious. Like you can't even make. Come on, and ah, 
Meanwhile, there are two there are two dudes who didn't even participate at all. And you're gonna get rid of one of the guys who actually contributed to the challenge? Bro, that's not how this is supposed to work. You're supposed to get the useless people out first. Welcome to your first elimination, you sorry saps. Here's how it works. One by one, you must go to the voting booth, write the name of the person you want to vote out, and deposit it in the ballot box. Yes, now yes. get voting. There's so many. There's so many. Makes sense. Well, yeah. I'd rather vote for someone else, but the boys' alliance will get me farther in the game. Oh, sorry, Gabs. I may have messed with Drew's notes just a little. <laughs> Yeah, you You've cast your votes. Now I'll make your decision final. The person with the most votes must leave the camp. If somebody has an immunity totem, they'll need to present it before the votes are read. Then all votes for that player the totem is used on will be nullified. First vote, Gabby. Drew. Yeah, and he, he's probably wondering, what the heck did I do? Gabby. Drew. That's Both two people. votes, Gabby. Two votes, Drew. So that me that's messed up. Gabby. Don't mess up. Drew. That's three votes, <laughs> Drew. Drew. Dang! Look at that handwriting. You know that's the ninjas. Or that? No, wait. That's I don't know. Whose handwriting is this? That's three votes, Drew. Three votes, Gabby. And one vote left. Maybe second person right. voted out of this venture camp. What? Okay, that one was definitely was definitely the ninjas. I think the curse of writer is Miriam. What? How how did that happen? Right, I don't know. I'm confused. Huh. Weird. Drew, it's time for you to go. Makes no sense. The two on the chopping block actually did something. The ones that weren't, that didn't do anything, were not on the chopping block at all. And this is disrespectful. I'm so sorry, Drew. You didn't deserve this. Well, kind of deserved it. Take the challenge for you. No, you didn't deserve this. Is everything ready to start recording? Almost. No. We have a bit of a problem, but I already contacted someone who could take care of the dirty work. Jensen, are you sure? Yeah, he's the only one I know with experience in this kind of situation. It's the ninja. That Drew had to be the scapegoat. Why couldn't he just vote out his dang boyfriend and stop being such a prick? And okay, okay, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm skipping this part. Alleyway, superhero cat. Well, okay, there's nothing after that. I wanted to make sure before I did anything else. Well, guys, that was this Venture Camp Season 1, Episode 3. Oh, man. I did really like Drew. He was cool. He didn't talk, but, you know, he was interesting. Plus, he always had side effects. I wish I had side effects. Oh, well. No, side effects. I mean, sound effects. Yes, that that's what I meant to say. He has sound effects for every one of his actions. That's something that I wish I could have. In any case, I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. If you did, like and subscribe for more Odd Nation cartoons. You guys are putting out some delicious stuff here. And I am very much enjoying taking advantage of it. I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Maybe. In any case, you guys are loved. You're appreciated. You're going to do amazing things. Have a great rest of your week. Let's get some stuff done. I got anything else for you. I'm out. Peace.